for the cheapest coins, FIFA points and accounts on FIFA Mobile and FIFA 17. Go to ufifa.com, use the code TVM at checkout for a huge discount. Link in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome to another week of Team of the Week predictions. And this week is a little bit sparse when it comes to big named players. A lot of affordable informs in this week's Team of the Week. Nothing really worth packing to be honest, but... Uh, there is uh, one or two games on tomorrow. There could be some surprises there. But anyway, let's kick things off with Fernando Pacheco in goal. This is the subs bench, of course. He got himself a clean sheet. He made two saves and he also made a last man tackle uh, to get a nil-nil draw with Atletico Madrid. Paulison, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but he got himself two goals. He also picked up man of the match in his side's 4-0 win. Osako got two goals and one assist and he also picked up man of the match in Cologne's 6-1 win. Falcinelli, I think I'm probably butchering that, but he got himself a hat-trick, one of the only hat-tricks, incidentally, in a 4-1 win over Empoli. Potential of two informs from Trabzonspor. However, I've gone with right mid Sahan, got himself two assists and man of the match. He also had a perfect 10 rating, and he hit the bar as well, and his side went on to win four goals to nil. Dolberg of Ajax up for a second in form. This one is going to be a big upgrade. This is a future star, of course. One goal, one assist, and also a man of the match. He also went on to hit the bar twice uh, as his side went on to win 3-0. Sergi Enric. Sergi Enric. I have no idea. One goal and two assists. He also picked up man of the match in his side's 3-1 win. Vural got two goals and one assist in a 4-1 win. Wait for it, over Fenerbahce, would you believe it? This would be a position change as well from a left back to a left wing. Big position change, decent looking card, but unfortunately is a silver. Not in a month of Sundays am I going to say this guy's name correctly. I would say Anarchy or Anarchy. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but either way, he got two goals and one assist in a 4-0 win, away win, I might add. This would also be another position change. Normally plays at centre mid for MK Dons, pushed forward into the striker position. Look at that pace. Tielemans for Anderlecht. Got himself a goal and two assists in a 4-2 win. Moving forward with some spice. We've got Muriel for Sampdoria. One goal and two assists. And he also picked up man of the match in a 3-2 win over Roma. Big game. He got a goal. He got a couple of assists. Man of the match. He has to get an in form. I really hope he does because this could be my Serie A or Calcio A, Andre Gray. Scott Sinclair up for a second in form. What is this? Uh, he got two goals and one assist in a 4-0 win over Hearts. Would be a left wing. Would actually love it if they bumped him up a little bit more to an 84. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Moving in to the starting lineup, we have Sorrentino. He got himself a clean sheet and man of the match because he made eight saves in his side's 1-0 win. D Ambrosio got one goal. He also got a very high match rating in a 3-0 win for Inter. Alvaro Gonzalez got one goal and one assist. He also picked up a man of the match in Villarreal's 2-0 win. This is 100% completely out of left field. I have literally left field, actually. I didn't plan that. I have decided to pick Alexandro. He got himself an assist. He also got clean sheet and man of the match in Juve's 2-0 win. Just a quick note, uh, it's between him and David Alaba, if I'm honest, because David Alaba actually scored a goal from left back in Bayern Munich's 1-0 win, or 2-1 win, or 2-0 win, or whatever it was. But also, Iron Robin got a goal and man of the match. I mean, honestly, between those three, I don't think more than one of them is going to get it, but between those three, there could be an inform. But I've plumped for Alexandro. Keita of Leipzig got two assists in a 2-1 win. Normally, I probably wouldn't have even looked at that, but he didn't even get man of the match. But Hoffenheim were unbeaten going into this game. They lost, so obviously they've taken the unbeaten run away from them. And of course, he got two assists as well. I had to pick someone. It was Keita. Let's hope for it because that card looks disgusting. Second in form, I believe it's a second in form, Wesley Schneider. He got himself a hat-trick of assists in a 6-0 win, but he is not the only Galatasaray player to grace this week's Team of the Week predictions. Jose Antonio Reyes, former Arsenal man, of course, got himself one goal and one assist. He also hit the bar in a 3-1 win over Sevilla. Uh, Navarro wasn't in the game, unfortunately. The right back, he got himself a goal and an assist, and I think he also picked up man of the match. But unfortunately, he's not in the game. Last week, he did something very similar as well. Would have gotten in form last week. He would have gone in form this week, but he's not in the game, so I've gone with Reyes. 
I said Schneider wasn't the only Galatasaray man that I've predicted to get in form. I've gone with Bruma as well. There's slim pickings going on really this week in Team of the Week predictions. So I've decided to go for two from the same club. It's happened last week with Cavani and Draxler. It's happened with Tottenham. In fact, they picked three from Spurs. So I've gone with Bruma. He got two goals. He also picked up the Man of the Match award in that 6-0 win for Galatasaray. Kovacic, as literally as I'm just talking, the game has finished. One goal and one assist in Real Madrid's 2 0, or was it rather 3 0 win over Real Sociedad? Morata getting a late goal in that game as well, but Kovacic played very, very well. Would be a very nice card as well. Stindl of Borussia Mönchengladbach got two goals and he also picked up the man of the match, helping his side to come from 2 0 down to beat Bayer Leverkusen 3 2. And finally, and I know a lot of you are going, what, really? Finally, you're ending on Gomis. He got himself a hat-trick and he also picked up Man of the Match in a 5-1 win for Marseille over Montpellier. I can't believe that there's not one, like, huge name this week in Team of the Week predictions. Schneider is basically the cover boy. That's kind of why I've gone with Alexandro. Because um, I feel like Alexandro's card would be worth well over 150-200k because it, it would be that desirable. So I, I would imagine that they pick someone like that. But like I said, it could be David Alaba. And they could, in theory, go with Iron Robin. Um, but I'm pr I'm predicting Alexandro. You know, I might be wrong, but I'm going to go with it. Um, if, obviously, you, I've missed anyone out, please let me know in the comment section down below. There might be one or two from maybe League 1, League 2, like bronzes or maybe a silver that I may have missed out. I tried my best to look through it, but the information was a bit sketchy coming from those games. So uh, I did what I could. I spent about six hours researching this today. So hopefully... I've come out with something fairly accurate. If you've enjoyed this week's Team of the Week predictions, you know what to do. Smack the like button. Go check out MPHD. The link is at the end of the video or in the video description if you want a different perspective on this week's Team of the Week predictions. I'm pretty sure ours will be miles apart because there is a lot of sort of, you know, 50-50 choices to, to go from. I know full well he didn't go for Alexandro. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'll be back again soon with another video. And until then, goodbye.